Gentlemen, even after diluting this substance, it still will burn with 1,000% more thermal endurance than any other known fuel. It has a more powerful heat and brilliant flame. And because its source of dynamic energy has all the power of explosive nitro, but does not explode, I have named it nitroline. And you're sure, Dr. Hartman, of your claim that we can extract this uh, nitroline using the same method as that used to recover oil? There's absolutely no question about it, Mr. Heinrich. You remember I've already demonstrated that to you. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, you'll have your complete analyses and map of the location. Right here in my desk. Let me warn you to guard this map carefully. Now, uh, here is our three-way contract, drawn up exactly as we discussed it, share and share alike. It's all ready for you to sign. which cabin he's in. Right. Name, please? Heinrich. Herman Heinrich. Well, your cabin is number six, Mr. Heinrich. Take the companionway straight ahead. Well, Mr. Heinrich, welcome aboard the morning glory, sir. Captain Perrin, how do you do? How soon can we arrange a meeting? Oh, lots of time. Pleasure before business. You go to your cabin, sir, and make yourself comfortable. Napoleon! Napoleon! It's cold whiskey, all right. Napoleon! Right here, sir. Right on the stroke of time. You take Mr. Heinrich's luggage to six. Yes, sir. I'll see you later. Yes. All your passengers aboard, honey? Yes, your real estate friend was the last one. All up your gang tank. We're getting underway. Hey, wait a minute. I'm coming aboard. Now, who is this holding us up? He hasn't any reservations. How are you, Captain Perrin? Don't you remember me? I'm Steve. Stephen Langtree. Steve! Steve! Where in the world you been all these years, son? Oh, I've been around. And Jenny Perrin. I haven't seen you since you were that high. <laughs> Say, what happened to those little pigtails I used to like to pull? I'm almost 19. Well, I declare. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Captain, I'm going up to the landing. Have you got room for me? Always room for a landry, son. We find a bunk for you somewhere. All right, cast off your lines. Hold up this plank. Come up to the pilot house, son. I want to have a talk with you while we're getting underway. <laughs>
I just want to welcome you aboard the morning glory and uh, promise you a nice trip up the river. So join in, folks, get acquainted, and have yourselves a good time. And we'll carry the spirit of the Mardi right up to Duval's Landing. Strike up the music. <laughs> Planning on opening a law practice in New Orleans, eh? I'm already set up. Matter of fact, I'm working on a case right now. Yeah? Pop wrote me about a land deal that's a... Oh, I mean on that land deal. So is Duval. Heinrich is offering us a whole lot more than that old swamp land's worth. Yeah, so Pop wrote me. Just who is this Heinrich? Oh, big speculator from New Orleans. He's aboard now. To close the deal with me and your dad? I still don't like him. <laughs> and I don't like his deal. I'm suspicious of the price he's offering for swamp land you normally couldn't give away. Yeah, that's the reason I'm going to get my John Henry on that bill of sale before he changes his mind. <laughs> Nothing but bloom and flowers in bloom far as the eye can see Love to watch the river go Celeste's certainly putting on a good show. She can handle her cards all right. Yeah. And if we play our cards right, we can get our hands on a fortune. Lulu, Louisiana. Nothing like Louisiana. Never a care. We'll follow me there. So Lulu of a place to be. Love to walk. Mr. Heinrich? Yes. I'm Stephen Langtry, son of Charles Langtry. Oh, come right in. I understand you're on your way to make a business deal with my father. That's right. As attorney for my father and Captain Perrin, I'm rather curious to know why you're offering such a high price for swampland. Very simple. I have a plan to drain the land and convert it into a resort. Mr. Heinrich, I've heard several rumors concerning this particular property. If you think it can be drained and converted into a resort, why not arrange a deal with my father and Captain Perrin on a, on a partnership basis? They can furnish the land, and you or your company can finance the project. That would be impossible. Very well, Mr. Heinrich. In the absence of any such arrangement, I shall consider it my duty to block the sale. Better think over my proposition. Good day. Say, Captain. When Heinrich came up to make an estimate on the land he wants to buy, did you carry him on this boat? Yep, sure did. Was he alone? No, there was uh, Dr. Hartman with him. 
Then they picked up a shanty boulder. Old Craig Kizard. Dr. Hartman. Why, he's the scientist who was murdered. Yep, he's the man. And old Kassard was with them? That's right. That convinces me more than ever that Heinrich's deal is crooked. Where does Kassard live? Up the river, a mile or two. You think you could slow down long enough for me to have a talk with him? Oh, I got a schedule tonight. Now, Captain, this is for your own good as well as my father's. All right. Go down telling the port to get your boat over the side. I'll slow down to a drift when we get there. Thanks, Captain. What are we slowing down here for? You going fishing? Never you mind. When I want full speed ahead, I let you know. Jenny, you better go below and keep the entertainment going full blast. So the passengers won't get curious as to why we're slowing down. Okay, Pop. But John, keep the entertainment going good and lively for a while, will you? I sure will, Miss Jenny. South in Dixieland, there lives a red hot rhythm man. Gets the women one and all. He picks them up and he lets them fall. He got a system all his own and it never seems to fail. Here's the way he carries on when he's working on a trail. He goes skiddly widdly wid did do bob the bib bib the moon is shining bright. I'd loot lot loot didn't he give it the goodle and I'm hunting love tonight. I got a pair of empty arms you see and a heart that's full of jive. And baby, if you swing with me, you'll know you're really alive. Skiddly widdly wid did do bob the bib bib don't you feel it now? That rhythm will get you down somehow. It's all this delay. I've got appointments to keep at Duval's Landing. It won't take long. Mr. Langton went over to Mr. Cassard to see him about some important business. He's coming right back. You have heard sweet harmony playing in the minor key, but all that stuff will seem slow when you hear this rhythm, Romeo. You go skiddly widdly with the do wop bop the baby. Don't you feel it now? That rhythm will get you down somehow. Come on, mama, don't be afraid. You'll find a night like this is made for skiddly widdly with it. do wop bop the baby. The rhythm rap so deep. Can you take it? Rhythm rap so deep. Full speed ahead. Why can't he make up his mind? Faster on moments like this, does something happen inside you? Just at the drop of a kiss, are you yearning to whisper? Certainly not. Sit down. Does your heart beat faster on moments like this? Does something happen inside you? Nice entertainment you have on this boat. I'm glad you like it. Are you yearning to whisper, I love you? What do you want? I want to have a talk with you. 
What do you want to talk to me about? You admit you guided Heinrich through this area. For what reason? That's none of your business. Wouldn't be so good if the authorities found out who killed Dr. Hartman, would it? What's that got to do with me? Plenty. Either you tell me what you know, or I'll tell the law what I know about who murdered Dr. Hartman. You ain't gonna tell nobody nothing. <laughs> Shanty, and I sure hope it does, Pop. Hey, 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 hey. 